Hi, I'm Jared Hillam. A few years ago, I had an attendee of one of our events ask us, what do you think is going to happen to the cloud in 10 years? Now, the question was aimed at a group of panelists, and the typical answer between them was, well, that's a long time horizon. Then they proceeded to pass out buzzwords. Predicting the future is pretty much a fool's errand, but sometimes the past can identify certain clues that might prove useful. And I believe this is the case with the cloud. Back in the late 1800s, electricity was the equivalent of cloud computing. Everybody knew it was gonna change the world. Edison became the first to market with his direct current generators. However, Tesla's brain and Westinghouse's funding brought the alternating current standard to the market. The fight between these two standards was incredibly aggressive and ugly to say the least. Edison's company went so far as to assist in perfecting the electric chair for executions using alternating current. So it's easy to miss the more subtle tactics GE and Westinghouse were using as leverage to gain in popularity. And one of those tactics was to release their own official products. And what was clear is that both Westinghouse and GE became huge gadget manufacturers. Everything got a GE or Westinghouse branded product name. Fans, stoves, light bulbs, toasters, irons, washing machines, pretty much anything that ran on electricity. The thought was, if you bought a GE, it would for sure work on GE's power grid. And the same was true for Westinghouse. If we shift to the telephone market, we see similar occurrences. Many in my audience might be too young to remember the 80s commercials lauding the qualities of AT&T home telephones. Or later on in the mid 2000s, cell phones were sold directly as Verizon phones, AT&T phones, or T-Mobile phones. Even though other manufacturers produced them, they came with catchy boot screens showing they belonged to their network. There was an invisible force going on in all these cases, a force I've called the commoditization of networks. Anytime an organization creates a network and charges for it as a service, that service will over time get commoditized down to its most fundamental value. And where network providers attempt to monopolize that value chain, they will lose to their endpoint competitors over time. Just think about it for a second. When you plug in your smartphone into your socket, do you give any consideration to whether the phone is being charged by a GE or Siemens turbine? No, you just plug it in. How about your phone? Is it hardwired to one network provider anymore? No, you just slip a new SIM card in or use an eSIM and you got a new line. Well, this is what I believe the next 10 years will look like for the cloud providers. Each of them today offer a host of services and capabilities, but over time their relevance will narrow to core capabilities that they provide, compute and storage. Now, this doesn't mean that the services they sell today will no longer be available, just like GE still sells refrigerators. But over time, the cloud vendors' offerings will succumb to the best of breed solutions for a wide variety of bespoke applications. And additionally, these tools will have no concern about which cloud compute and storage solution the customer wants to use. They'll be as ubiquitous as the power outlet in your house. And guess what? The cloud that is the most convenient to work with will get the most of the spoils. One trend that you can see is that we are layering networks on networks. We have the power grid being one network and the communication network layering on the power grid. And now the compute and storage network layering on top of that. And these layers of services have me wondering what the next layer might be. I released a white paper titled The Commoditization of Networks, which is linked in the video description. And if you're trying to figure out which cloud solution is right for your organization, I recommend reaching out to Intricity and talking with one of our specialists, and you'll find a link for that as well.